Over the years, Ubisoft has added more and more nade denial operators. You can choose Jaeger for his set it and forget it gadget, Wamai for his high potential utility, or Aruni for her unique barricades that can act as entry denial and nade denial at the same time. With all of these options, it can be difficult to decide which operator to choose for your lineup. So today I'm going to be doing the same thing I always do. I will be rating every operator in four key categories, gadget, versatility, loadout, and then finally secondary gadget. I will then add up their scores at the end of the video to determine the winner. So make sure you watch until the very end to find out who is the best nade denial operator. I think it only makes sense for us to start out with Jaeger considering he was in the game on release, way back before Wamai or Aruni were even designed. His gadget is the ADS. These things can be deployed on surfaces and can stop every projectile in the game except for Capitao's crossbow bolts, but each one can only stop a single projectile before having to recharge. His ADSs are extremely simple to understand and use while filling an extremely important role. All you have to do is place them on power positions to protect your teammates, and then you are free to go and frag out. So for his gadgets, simplicity, and strength, I'll be giving him a 9 out of 10 in the gadget category and an 8 out of 10 on the versatility category. Now to talk about something that goes hand in hand with an operator's gadget, and that is their secondary gadget. Jaeger has the choice between a bulletproof camera or barbed wire. Deployable cams are useful for providing some additional information to your team, and barbed wire is crucial on most bomb sites. But both of these secondary gadgets don't mesh well with his ADSs. And while barbed wire may be required on most bomb sites, it is available on a ton of operators. So I'll be giving his secondary gadgets a 5 out of 10. They aren't terrible, but there isn't necessarily anything to write home about. Now to talk about the more controversial part of Jaeger, that being his loadout. Jaeger comes equipped with the 416C as his primary assault rifle and the p12 as a secondary pistol the 416 was honestly terrible before the recent patch that hit the live build this week his gun did only a mere 38 damage but after the recent patch if you run extended barrel then the damage goes up to a whopping 43 making it a really solid primary option its recoil may be a bit difficult to control but the trade-off is well worth it also its fire rate is 740 making this gun's dps really good with extended unfortunately though its magazine size is only 25 but that is its only real downside as for his pistol it deals a solid 45 damage and it has a capacity of 15 rounds making it a reliable secondary overall i'll be giving his loadout a 9 out of 10. i think after the extended barrel buff his 416c can give a lot of defender weapons a real run for their money Okay, it is now time to move on to Wamai. Ubisoft introduced him into the game as a direct competition to Jaeger. His gadget is the Magnet. He gets one at the start of the prep phase and he earns the rest of his magnets throughout the course of a round. Each magnet is able to capture one projectile just like Jaeger, but on top of that, they can capture Capital bolts. The main difference between ADS and Magnus is that Wamai magnets don't destroy projectiles. They drag the projectiles away, causing them to go off inside of the magnets. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, this just sounds like a worse Jaeger. Well, the main advantage is that if he stays alive, at the time of recording, he can capture more projectiles than Jaeger. This makes Wamai really strong when he is playing on power positions because he can protect himself with his own gadget. And when he dies, the Magnus won't be needed anymore anyways. So for his gadget's clear strength, I'll be giving it a 10 out of 10. As for versatility, I'll be giving him a 7 out of 10. I think due to the fact that his gadget captures and doesn't destroy utility, they are slightly less versatile than Jaeger's ADSs, but they can be just as strong depending on the situation. Now to speak about his secondary gadgets. He has the option between proximity alarms and impact grenades. Prox alarms are probably the worst option in the game. They can provide you with some intel, but they really aren't great. But impact grenades are quite strong. They allow you to make rotates for the team if needed, or they can help you clear things like OSA shields from the attackers. So overall, I think his secondary gadgets are worth a 7 out of 10. The impact grenades are kind of what is carrying him here, but I still think the rating is deserved. Finally, his loadout. He has the option between the fast fire rate and P5K or the high damage AUG A2 as primaries, and he has access to the P12 and Keratos as secondaries. The MP5K is one of my favorite defender weapons right now. Its high fire rate allows you to shred through enemies, and its easy to control recoil makes it a headshot machine. As for the AUG, it is a solid primary with extremely high damage for a defender, and it has low recoil, making it another headshot machine just like the MP5K. But it really does just come down to personal preference. Do you prefer a higher fire rate or more damage? That's kind of the question you have to ask yourself when choosing a primary on Wamai. Now his secondaries are self-explanatory. The P12 he shares with Jaeger, which I talked about earlier, and the Keratos is just a solid damage revolver that is really fun to spawn peek with. Overall, I'll be giving his loadout a 10 out of 10. I don't think you can get a much better loadout on defense than what Mamai has to offer. Since we finished raiding Wamai, it is now time to talk about Aruni. 
A Rooney's gadget is the Surya gate. She can place these on doorways, windows, and walls. When anything comes into contact with the gates, it will be destroyed and the gate will be disabled. And if an attacker walks through them, they will take 30 damage. Also, if a defender walks near the gates, they will deactivate until the defender moves away. Her gates can be really useful in combination with the other operators in this video, but on their own, I don't think they are nearly as useful as Jaeger's ADSs or Wamai's magnets. So overall, I'll be giving her gadget a seven out of 10 and her versatility a seven out of 10. I think her versatility is close if not on par with Jaeger and Wamai, but her gadget just isn't nearly as good as theirs. Now to speak on her secondary gadgets, she has the option between barbed wire and a bulletproof cam. So the exact same thing as Jaeger but I am going to count her robot arm as a secondary gadget. If you didn't know, Aruni can punch holes and rotates through walls with her robot fist, as well as destroy soft hatches. This allows her to be an absolute machine in the site setup, so I'll be giving her a score of eight out of 10 on secondary gadget. While her robot arm may not be considered to be a secondary gadget, it's kind of a passive ability, and I'm just gonna consider it as a secondary gadget for the purposes of this video. Now for her loadout. Her loadout is by far the most interesting out of the operators today. She gets to choose between the MK14 DMR or the P10 Roni. The MK14 is a super fun DMR that has solid damage and a 1.5. Aruni can take gunfights from really long range with this, and since it's a DMR, it's super easy to hit headshots with it. As for the P10 Roni, it really isn't what it used to be. Ever since it lost its five bullets, it is really hard to recommend. If you don't like DMRs, the P10 is an option, but its damage is just too low and its magazine size is only 15 rounds. So if you miss with the P10, you will be punished. Overall, I'll be giving her loadout a seven out of 10. I think her DMR is really slept on and the P10 Roni is all right if you have good aim. Now to answer the question you have all been waiting for, who is the best nade to now operator? Well, to start us out in the number three spot, we have Aruni with a total score of 29. As I said earlier on in the video, Aruni is very good in combination with Jaeger or Wamai, but on her own, her gadget can't really compete. Also, her loadout is miles below that of Jaeger and Wamai, so that is why I have her in the number three spot. Coming in at the number two spot, we have Jaeger. Before the most recent patch, I likely would have put him in third place, but his weapons have improved drastically. He also has a really easy to understand and strong gadget, so I think that is what makes him capable of beating Aruni by two points. Now for the operator coming in first place, we have Wamai. Wamai's gadget is extremely strong, way better than anyone else on this list in my eyes. Also, his secondary gadgets are far superior than a Jaeger and Aruni, so that is what allows him to edge out Jaeger by three points to take the crown. Well, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Keep in mind, this video is completely my opinion. I'm sure some of you will disagree with me. And if you do, you can go follow me on Twitter so we can discuss it further. That is the best place to interact with me. I post my opinions on Siege and other games all the time over there. And I talk back and forth with content creators on similar opinions like this. I would also appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'm trying to hit 4K subs and we are getting closer and closer by the day. So your sub will make a difference. If I haven't heard your sub yet though, that is totally fine. You can go and watch this video and hopefully it will change your mind. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.